Okay, hello again everyone. Uh, so this video is just going to uh, be about three quick questions that I just grabbed from uh, section 10.2 of our textbook by Trench. Uh, so for the first problem, uh, we just have to show that uh, their suggested solution of y of t satisfies uh, this different this system of differential equations. So we have two uh, first order differential equations and uh, at first we take the uh, coefficient matrix, we write that down, so we have negative 3, negative 5, 2, and 3, so I've just pulled those coefficients off of the y1 and y2 terms and then uh, written y as a uh, column vector, so then we see that uh, by multiplying these two uh, matrices together, so we have negative 3 times y1 plus 2 times y2, we see that gives us our y1 and y2 back in uh, y1 prime and the same for the second row. And then we also have this forcing uh, function f, f of t, but it's in this case it's a column vector, and uh, I've just uh, written these in their own uh, entries in uh, this vector and, and tagged it along. Now we wish to show that what their suggested solution of y of t is a solution to this system. So uh, firstly we take the derivative of their suggested solution and uh, I obtain this result because uh, the derivative of a matrix is uh, the same as uh, a matrix is, is the same as that matrix uh, and then we take the derivative of the individual entries so and we'll see that later in a quick in uh, two quick proofs uh, and so the uh, for example derivative of 2 cos of t is uh, negative 2 sine of t and uh, for the second entry we uh, at entry uh, location 2 1 we would have a negative 3 sine of t uh, minus cos of t and that's what I've written and then we do the same for the second matrix and the third in their suggested solution is just 0 over uh, 1 so it's a column vector uh, in this case it is a uh, unit length uh, column vector if we were to take the magnitude of the vector and uh, now if upon substituting y into the above equation on the right hand side uh, for uh, um, uh, if we substitute y in for this vector uh, we should obtain the derivative on the left hand side after evaluating the right hand side and so I've substituted that in in this step and now by properties of uh, matrices it turns out that uh, matrices do distribute over a uh, that the product of matrix that the product of a matrix with uh, sum of matrices uh, distributes. So, uh, in this step, I've written uh, the coefficient matrix times the first uh, plus the coefficient uh, matrix times the second plus the coefficient matrix times the third, and we see that all of these products make sense because the the dimensions of this matrix are uh, two by two, and the dimensions of this uh, vector or matrix uh, are uh, two by one, and since the inner dimensions match, so if it's two, if if we were to write two by two uh, multiplied by a two by one matrix, uh, we would see that the inners match, and the resultant is a two by one matrix, uh, which I've written in the next step. But uh, we also tag along that uh, forcing uh, term as well. So we, we remember we have this three minus two t uh, and six minus three t. Uh, vector. So we tag that along and then uh, by multiplying these matrices together we see that the first two and the first two cancel, they go to zero uh, and uh, that simplifies down to the expected result although I believe uh, in this I've written negative sine of t plus three cos of t and in their suggested answer there was uh, Oh, I just have them reversed, that's all. <laughs> so it, it is the same result, so it's the same result. And uh, so this is indeed a solution for all C1 and C2. And so that completes that uh, result. Now 10.2.7, uh, we can go take a look at that in the textbook. I've linked to it from the page. Um, unlike the last videos, I just thought I'd, again, I just thought I'd do uh, a few quick problems instead of, you know, a long, drawn-out, uh, 20, 30-minute uh, video about all these different things that we might not use on the exam. So, uh, they wish, they want, uh, 
for a matrix function, uh, which we are going to denote by capital Q of T, uh, is said to be differentiable if its entries Q, I, J are differentiable. If the set of all entries Q, uh, I, J are differentiable, then the derivative Q prime is defined by, and of course we take the derivative of each individual entry in Q, and we wish to prove that if P and Q are differentiable matrices, such that P plus Q is defined, and if uh, C1 and C2 are constants, then the derivative of uh, constant of, of a sum of constant multiples of either matrix uh, is equal to the uh, constant multiples of the the sum of constant multiples of the of the derivative. So we're basically showing that the derivative operator uh, is is well that it's that it's a linear operator uh, on matrices and not just real valued functions as we've considered in uh, the past so uh, for this proof uh, it's really quite straightforward uh, we're just going to let PQ be a uh, complex uh, m by n matrices with complex entries and uh, be matrices su matrices such that each entry p sub ij uh, q sub ij both possibly functions of T, are singly, at least singly, differentiable on some domain, omega, and uh, we're going to let C1 and C2 be uh, arbitrary constants, possibly complex or uh, real as well, because the real numbers are subfield of complex numbers. Uh, and we wish to show that the differential operator is indeed linear over these matrices, the constant multiples of these matrices. So. We first recall that the derivative of a constant multiple of a matrix, matrix is equal to uh, a constant multiple of the derivative of the matrix. So we can just take the constant out of every entry in P. Um, we can pull constants out of, out of matrices because uh, constant multiples of matrices are equal to, uh, well, we can just take, take the constant, throw it into every single entry. And then, uh, so this equal, this equals to, as they said in the problem, a constant multiple of the derivative of each individual entry. So uh, by properties of differentials, the differential of a sum is the sum of the individual differentials. It applies to matrices as well, therefore, uh, we can do this individually for either uh, piece. And we also know that a, the, differential, the differential of a derivative of a sum is equal to the sum of the derivatives. So we can just split this up and then pull the constants out, therefore. Uh, uh, the derivative is a uh, uh, a linear operator uh, over the um, matrices as well. And I actually, I think this needs to be a D, and I'll fix that. Uh, and then, okay, my bad for a second. I had to, I, I saw this proof, and I saw that I had a, a, to fix a mistake. But uh, so for uh, the second problem in this, for part B, uh, we were to prove that if P and Q are differentiable matrices, then we have a product rule. And so uh, for the proof, we will let P and Q be matrices uh, such that P is an uh, M by, or sorry, rather an N by M matrix, and Q is an M by row matrix uh, such that each entry, which might be uh, functions of T, is are at least singly differentiable uh, on, uh, say, some domain omega. Uh, now the derivative of these of this product is equal to the derivative of the sum along uh, the row in the rows in the first, or rather a, a sum along the first row along the the columns. So if we have an M, so P is an N by M matrix. So we'll be summing along M columns, which is why the the summation is from I equals one to M. And in uh, the matrix Q, we'll be summing along the first column along uh, 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 M, M rows. So we have an M by row matrix for Q. That's why each of these entries uh, has a sum from I equals 1 to M, because uh, the, the width of, of the uh, matrix P is M and the height or the number of rows in the matrix Q is M. So 
uh, we can just sum uh, down each one and change the first and last index indices here uh, as we uh, move throughout this this matrix. So this is a uh, matrix uh, entry one 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 two one row uh, all the way down to n row, which is the uh, dimension that we would expect. And uh, now in the second step, uh, we know that we can take the uh, differential operator and just throw it inside. Uh, so the diff the uh, derivative of a, a matrix is equal to a matrix such that uh, every uh, entry uh, is it's the derivative of every entry. So that's what I've done in this step. And then in the se the third step, we can interchange the summation and the uh, derivative and uh, in each entry. And then finally, since we're summing er on every single entry from i equals 1 to m, actually we could have done this back here. We could have just pulled the summation out, switched the two, and then thrown the different the derivative inside. Uh, but uh, doing it at this point is fine. Uh, so we can then uh, take the summation out. So we have the sum from i equals 1 to m. And the uh, derivative with respect to t now remember p and q might be functions of t uh, is equal to a product rule because every uh, because we already know that about uh, functions we have a product rule and uh, so it is true in every single entry and uh, so we're summing this this might look a little crazy this step but so we're summing uh, remember down the first or along the first row of matrix P and down the first column of matrix Q. So we're summing all of the derivative of the first entry times the derivative of the second plus the, the derivative of the second times the derivative of the first. And uh, so we do that for every entry and along every, uh, every entry in the row, every entry in the column uh, for every single entry here. And then, uh, well, that just equals to a product rule. So uh, it, it looks really simple at first, which was my error. So I started out just multiplying every entry. So this was just P1, Q1, or P11, Q11, uh, P1, uh, what would it be? P, P, uh, uh, P, P11, P, uh, Q21, or yeah. So I was just going down, down the, uh, the normal product, but uh, I didn't realize I, I forgot that it was actually a, a sum along the, the row and along the columns. So that's why I realized we had to have the summations in there. But it, it does work out to to the correct result uh, in this way.